Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today I'm at the Mecca, the Golden Corral. So here we're gonna have, go have a lovely Golden Corral experience before I leave the United States of America. So yeah, let's have some fun, eat some food, have some dessert, and let's eat some food. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at the Golden Corral. Yes, that's right everybody, the Golden Corral. So for those of you who do not know, I like the Golden Corral. It is by far, in my opinion, one of the best quality to quantity values you can get in North America. So starting off, I just had a burger patty, guys. They actually have really good burger patties here. They make them fresh off the grill and nothing wrong with that. I always start with my vegetables. Mostly when I go to the Golden Corral, I eat the meats and the vegetables. Those are the most expensive items and the ones I thoroughly enjoy, but we can't forget dessert. So we're here on like a, it was a Friday or a Saturday. And so a dinner on Friday, Saturday, sometimes they have special items. So today they had like ribs, which honestly the ribs are pretty solid. Um, they're, they definitely are barbecued. I wouldn't really call them smoked, but they are very good. This here is the smoked sirloin. So this is a smoked item guys. And it's actually very, very good. I've had it on numerous occasions. And basically it's a sirloin tip roast, which they smoke in some capacity. And it is delicious. So if you like a smoky-ish flavor, there's absolutely no complaints. Um, I have the pulled pork. Pulled pork is also actually one of my favorites at the Golden Corral. I really, really, really like it. Um, I have had it in two different styles though. I've had it once where it was smoked and once where it was, well, I've had it many times where it's smoked and a couple, once or twice where it wasn't smoked. And I don't really like when it's not smoked, but when it's smoked, it's very, very good. Throw a little bit of their smokehouse barbecue sauce on it and it is delicious. Of course, they also have their lovely, lovely, lovely sweet potato casserole, guys. I love that. It's like pure dessert. It's sweet potatoes. It is marshmallows. It's granola. It's cinnamon. It is, oh my gosh. I am so glad that Southern Cuisine Soul Food allows sweet potato casseroles to be considered a meal, like a menu item, a meal item, and not just a dessert item. Because I think in a lot of different cuisines, it would be a sole dessert item. For my veggies, as you saw, I had the steamed broccoli, and here I have collard greens, um, both of which I like. They put a bit of a ham in their collard greens, um, you know, a bit like a pork, um, pork, bacon, ham, whatever it is, which is pretty traditional. And I, again, really, flavors are pretty good up to this point. Uh, I had some catfish, I also had some fried chicken, which I will say both items are very, very good. Um, the key with Golden Corral is when it's good, when it's fresh, like, it's, it's, it is good. Uh, when it's not fresh, it's not really good let's be honest so it's actually better to go at a busy time rather than a not busy time so it's kind of the opposite of what i would consider to be standard for a restaurant but going at a busy time for golden corral is actually the best thing you're going to get the best tasting items and that's ultimately what you're after especially when you're paying what 10 to 15 dollars for a meal like depending where you're at lunch it's like 10 bucks supper is i think 15 like crazy 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 um quantity to value uh, you know, so um, they also have their pot roast. Pot roast is a, another traditional kind of classic there I really like. It's always consistently good. And that's the nice thing about the Golden Corral. Most items are pretty consistent. So again, like the fried chicken is always the same as fried chicken. The pot roast is always pot roast because it is a chain, right? Um, if you've never had the fried chicken or catfish at Golden Corral, those are definitely two items that I would definitely recommend. Um, the breasts are always juicy, and you know I'm always about them juicy breasts, everybody. Ugh, I just, ugh, mmm, a good, good freaking juicy, ugh, I mean a pair of them is even better, but you know, a good juicy breast, you just can't beat that. Um, now, of course, my additions, guys. I love both of my catfish, both with my um, fried chicken, in this case, the fried chicken. I love hot sauce, guys. I love a Louisiana style hot sauce and I love ketchup. Yes, I love both and I like to mix them. I like you get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of that spiciness, um, and, but not just for, you know, fried chicken. I like it for pretty much everything. Like when I'm at home, I eat a lot of, I'll call it sweet and spicy mixed sauces, whether it be barbecue sauce or hot sauce. So there I was asking, because they're out of Louisiana, um, the Tabasco, which is my favorite. I prefer a Louisiana style hot sauce. Um, they also, but then they had the, the Texas Pete, which isn't bad, like a Mexican, more like a Mexican style hot sauce. I don't mind it as much, um, but I definitely prefer a Louisiana style hot sauce, whether it be a, um, like a Louisiana style, which is legit my favorite, the Louisiana brand. Second, probably like it's Frank's and then probably the Tabasco. Um, all again, kind of that Louisiana style hot sauce, which I very, very, very much enjoy. Here's me showing off that delicious, delicious, tender, juicy breast. Like I said, guys, my three must-haves when you go to Golden Corral is the smoked pulled pork, the fried chicken, 
and the catfish. Those are def and those are items which are like regularly on the menu. They aren't just like specialty items that are only going to be there on a Friday or a Saturday, such as, you know, like let's say the ribs or the smoked sirloin, which I also really enjoy. I really like the smoked sirloin as well. Um, the pot roast is also very good, so I would definitely also recommend trying that if you go there. Um, but besides that, those are definitely like my must-haves, plus not to mention the desserts. Oh, when we get to dessert, I'll tell you about desserts. And of course, uh, I love the fruits as well. Often they have pineapples. Um, okay, hold on. I, 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 I can't... I can't not talk about desserts a little bit. So yeah, guys, I usually, when, whenever there's chocolate covered strawberries, I love chocolate covered strawberries, fondue, like the fondue, um, you know, I'm all about them. Chocolate cream pies, about the coconut cream pies. I'm all about that cream pie action, everybody. I love a good old cream pie, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but at that, I will, uh, I'll let you, uh, well, uh, let, let's get back to the chicken here. So yeah, chicken guys, definitely a solid item. Really enjoy it. Crispy, crunchy, juicy. And at that, I think it's about time we go get another round. Uh, like I said, guys, I was enjoying myself here tonight. I love Golden Crow. I don't get to do it often. And when I do it, I do it big. So this is our next plates. Uh, so very traditional plates for myself. A variety of different the salads, like the mixed salads. I really like the broccoli salad they have there. I love broccoli salad in totality. Um, it was something kind of I grew up with around Christmas. So it's kind of a special... Uh, item for me, I guess you could say like whereas the child only have like maybe like once a year um, And I like broccoli. I like, you know, these there's onions There's a, obviously a sweet kind of mayonnaise based dressing. Sometimes there is bacon in it. Sometimes there's onions And I mean, it's all just delicious. I'm also got some coleslaw. I'm definitely a big coleslaw fan They often at Golden Crow have a, a carrot slaw as well. It's not bad. I'm not as big of a favorite of it It is a mayonnaise and mustard um, dressing with raisins in it it's not bad and I often do get it just to have some but definitely that broccoli salad if they have the broccoli salad that is my preference and again the coleslaw there's it, the coleslaw is pretty standard it's hard to go wrong with the coleslaw I mean as you know you can technically make your own kind of combinations like again they have pulled pork they have breads they have buns there if they have barbecue sauce if you want it to make like a barbecue sandwich um, and you could make the smoked you can make a smoked beef sandwich even which is kind of where I'm doing right now I'm kind of mixing a little bit of that um, smoked sirloin in with the coleslaw of course I'm not putting it on bread um, but smoked sirloin guys like I said it's definitely a keeper it is a more expensive item, but you're only going to be able to find that on certain nights of the week or certain occasions and or uh, only at dinner. Um, the other kind of uh, item I have right here is the meatloaf. So the meatloaf is also consistently good in my opinion. So now this is a fun fact and something I've noticed though. So here the meatloaf had ketchup on it. And I, in many places I go, meatloaf has ketchup on it. But, however, a few places I've been, the meatloaf has gravy on it. Like in Miami, at Golden Corral, the meatloaf has gravy on it. We're kind of in, well here, this is uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And also in Texas, the meatloaf has ketchup on it. So let me know down below right now if you guys are seeing like a difference as well. Like I don't know if it was just a like it's an ironic thing or is it more regionally dependent? Um, and then of course here I have my pulled pork. Like I said, one of my standards. I mentioned earlier I really like the fruit. They didn't have any pineapples here today, and they did not have uh, strawberries. I really like strawberries as well. Pineapples and strawberries are two fruits I eat at the Golden Crowd generally. Um, not to mention that they're generally quite expensive, and I like to really splurge and enjoy on them because healthy fruits, guys, and deliciousness. Um, but I went for some grapes. So they had the seedless grapes here, which were nice. Um, I like grapes. Who doesn't like grapes? Um, and like I said, it's just a nice way to kind of break up. I've had a lot of savory items, as you were seeing, very heavy savory items. So I'll break it up with a little bit of sweetness, grab myself some grapes, and uh, you know, get ready for the next rounds. Because I sure wasn't done yet. So yeah, like I said, guys, that's the nice thing about Golden Crow. They have such a variety of options. Um, so here we're going back to some catfish. Again, I mentioned earlier, the catfish is really solid. And if you're there again when it's busy, it's coming out very fresh because people are obviously taking it. It is a uh, item that other people enjoy as well. Um, also, again, having some green beans. Green beans are solid. Like I said, um, sometimes they are overcooked. Certain items are definitely overcooked to Golden Crow. Generally, the green beans are cooked very, very soft. 
Um, but it's not a bad thing, and I like the flavor of them. Again, I feel there's like a little bit of a pork aspect going on, a little bit of ham or something in there. So if you're looking for kind of a lighter calorie option, it still falls in that category, and it is pretty dang tasty. You know, it has some salt, it has some kind of hammy spices to it. And the catfish, so the catfish is quite, so it has a really, really nice coating on it. Um, it's, I'm going to, it's, I would almost say like, if you, this makes sense, you know, if you have like a corn flour compared to like a wheat flour, a corn flour sometimes has a little bit more grit to it. I'm describing this um, breading having a little bit of grit to it, but not in a bad way. In fact, I would say in a good way. Um, so the, I just like, it's just extra texture. That's the way to put it. Um, so extra texture. Uh, and then a little, there's a very light, I'd say it's a little bit of probably like garlic powder, maybe a little bit of a pepper to it. It's generally very balanced though. And it's generally very lightly seasoned, which makes it perfect uh, for having it with ketchup or with your uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce is great. And actually, I'm even going to go out and say that although I didn't have any right here, the tartar sauce at Golden Corral is exceptional. I would actually say maybe it's some of the best tartar sauce I've ever had. Now that sounds hilarious because it's tartar sauce, but no, I'm dead serious, guys. If you like tartar sauce and catfish and you want all you can eat, the Golden Corral is the place to go. I mean, you could just go here and just eat yourself silly with straight catfish. Like, hell right. Getting into some desserts, guys. So I, like I said, I'm all about them cream pies. Who doesn't love a cream pie? Um, so I have my chocolate cream pie. That is my, I would say, uh, must-have dessert at Golden Corral. Here I have the coconut cream pie. Now, the coconut cream pie, although it is very good and I do enjoy it, it's very r rare and uncommon I see it. Whereas the chocolate cream pie I see very frequently. Um, so yeah, the coconut cream pie, guys, is solid. It's uh, it's not the best thing you're gonna ever have, but it is definitely a solid dessert. But this coconut cream pie, I really like this one. Again, it's consistently at Golden Crows all across the country. It is a nice thick pudding, um, or it's not even a pudding actually, it's more like a fudge. I've had cho uh, coconut, or sorry, co chocolate cream pies before, which it was more like just chocolate pudding in it, and it was kind of lackluster, whether it be from it not being very sweet, not being very flavorful, but this one is probably the best chocolate cream pie I've ever had, because it is like a thick fudge. The pecan pie here, it's solid. It's hard to go on with a pecan pie. Um, it's pretty sweet, pretty standard, etc., etc. Go into some more dessert. So I decided to try um, some of the uh, fudge. I don't usually get the fudge, and then I here I kind of remembered why. It's it's lackluster. It's it's just not great. It's not something I would. Uh, it's not my golden corral dessert of choice. I'll say, but I got another one of my must-have desserts, guys. The banana pudding. Oh my gosh, guys. The banana pudding is exceptional. It's when it's like when it is made properly, it is made right, it is whipped, it is airy, it is almost like a magnolia style banana pudding. It has vanilla wafers, it has real bananas in it, and it is very, very, very good. Now, I will say, I have had it once or twice where it is not made properly and it's just very bleh. So, you know, out of all the golden times I've been to Golden Corral, once the banana pudding was not great, but otherwise it's been consistently good. And again, that coconut cream pie, always solid. So back to more coconut cream pie, because they had it. Like I said, it's kind of a rare item for me to see there. And then more banana pudding. Like I said, it was made right here, guys. It is very, very delicious. It is an excellent banana pudding. And again, think that you can get unlimited of it. Like, again, the value to quantity to cost to quality that you get at golden corral that's why i like it so much and although like i said it's probably not the best meal you're ever going to have if you go when it's busy if you go and everything is fresh when it's good guys it is it is good it is really good and like i said what else like if you go at lunchtime it's literally like 10 12 dollars depending where you are in the country that's like a big mac okay i don't know about you i'd so much rather have all you can eat like multi seven eight nine course ten course five course meal at golden corral than a freaking big mac meal like come on like here you can start with you can start with unlimited vegetables and go for unlimited fruit you could go to you know then your your high quality items like i said guys their burger bar at lunchtime is great the burgers are fresh they're coming straight off a grill then you're turning to coconut cream pie, or they have an ice cream machine, guys. They have a, like a, a legit unlimited ice cream machine of soft serve, which is just fair, but then they also have their hard uh, served ice creams. They have uh, cotton candy machines. 
they have again like you can eat yourself a whole pie which what go to the grocery store and buy yourself a whole pie you're paying what six to ten bucks you know so i've literally actually probably consumed a whole coconut cream pie myself just during this visit uh, not to mention like i said that chocolate cream pie is fire that banana pudding is really really good um, but yeah, overall, that's kind of it, guys. That's Golden Corral. This is my visit to Golden Corral in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed my visit. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Maybe you're getting yourself a little hungry. I just tell you what, I am sure dang hungry right now. So let me know down below, guys, if you're feeling hungry, because I sure am. I tell you what, I wish I could have Golden Corral right now. So if you have one near you, go when it's busy. Enjoy it for me. Think of me. And uh, that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate the support. So with that, finishing up this little last little bit of the coconut cream pie. Coconut cream pie, guys. And uh, let's have ourselves a lovely day. So that everybody, till next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry, and of course, happy eating. Hey everyone, so it's like Halloween season and we're doing some Halloween activities, so today we had a thing called Pumpkins After Dark. Great big pumpkin there. So last year this was like a walkable event. It's an event with like 70,000 pumpkins, like carved, like all kinds of different thingy things. That being said, this year it's a drive through event because, you know, the world is shut down. But yeah, we're gonna drive through here, view countless pumpkins, should be a lot of fun. So uh, Pumpkins After Dark in Milton, Ontario. Huge thanks to James and his family. Shout out to all them. Great people to put this on and let's check it out. Pumpkins After Dark, woo! Pumpkins! Oh yeah! Zombie guys? Zombies or I want to say white walkers or something, but I don't know. <laughs> Tigers. Pretty cool. They the what? Tiger King. What's that? You never watched the Netflix special of, about the Tiger King? Oh. Like, under, under I, I have not seen that, oh, but you I, have to watch I know what you're talking about. It's There's so a good. giraffe, two giraffes, and a zebra, and here's a f zebra. <laughs> Interesting. Here's a big pumpkin. Big pumpkin. Canopy of pumpkins, which we will drive through. Oh yeah! Look at all the pumpkins. Go slow. Wow, this is cool. This is the best. This is really cool. Look at all of them. Look at all the pumpkins. Pumpkins after dark, y'all. Oh yeah. Kayla, can I get a hoya? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And here we got dinosaurs, that's a T-Rex. Here we have a Triceratops. <laughs> we have a other thingodactyl thing. Um, like the scales on each Oh yeah, pumpkin. on the pumpkins? Yeah. Look at that detail on the pumpkins. Very nice dragon. <laughs> Very nice. It is a big, big dragon. How many pumpkins do you think in there? A lot. A lot. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry family. That's right guys, hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. That's right, I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're gonna like them, so real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is gonna go away in a couple seconds, so please hit them. Three, two, one, click one. Let's go.